gentlemen. I suppose you'd be more interested in even a slight pan trick than you'd be in an application for a position with your magazine. But as usual, you can't have the thing you want most. I am 23 years old, six weeks on the loose in NY. However, I was here for a whole year in 1930-31 while attending advertising classes in the Columbia School of Business. Actually, I'm a southerner from Mississippi, the nation's most backward state. I have a BA 29 from the University of Wisconsin where I majored in English without a care in the world. For the last 18 months, I was languishing in my own office in a radio station in Jackson, Mississippi writing continuities, dramas, mule feed advertisements, Santa Claus talks, and life insurance playlists. Now I have given that up. As to what I might do for you, I have seen an untoward amount of picture galleries and 15 cent movies lately, and could review them with my old prosperous detachment, I think. In fact, I recently coined a general word for Matisse's pictures after seeing his latest at the movie Harriman, concubine apple. <laughs> that shows you how my mind works, quick and away from the point. I read simply voraciously and can drum up an opinion after. Since I have bought an India print and a large number of phonograph records from a Mr. Nussbaum who picks them up and the Cezanne Bader's One Inch Long, that shows you I read E.E. Cummings, I hope, I am anxious to have an apartment, not to mention a small portable phonograph. How I would like to work for you. A little paragraph each morning, a little paragraph each night. If you can't hide me from daylight to dark, although I would work like a slave. I can also draw like Mr. Thurber, in case he goes off the deep end. <laughs> I have studied flower painting. There is no telling where I may apply if you turn me down. I realize this will not phase you, but consider my other alternative. University of North Carolina offers $12 to let me dance in Bacchow Lindsay's Congo. My Congo on. I rest my case, but I am a hard worker. Truly yours, you don't know well.